Well, hello there. Dan Eden here. Welcome to another edition of Intervention Live, the show where sometimes it's live, sometimes it isn't. Sometimes my head gets all kind of wavy from the background. Uh, I know we were supposed to start at about 7, but I got uh, caught up in a few things. And uh, this is a show where anything can happen, and it looks like uh, something's happening right now. I'm getting a request to uh, to talk to somebody here. Somebody wants to drop in, so uh, let's say hi. Who is this? Who could this be? Hmm. Waiting here, waiting. Let's see. What? Hello. Oh my goodness! It's Katie Binkley. It is. How are you? I'm good. <laughs> good, good. Well, it's nice to see you. What? Where are you right now? I'm in my apartment. Oh, you're in your apartment. Cool, mm -hmm. cool, cool. Um, I hope I didn't catch you at a bad time. Or is this? Is I mean, you popped in here to be fair. So. Mm -hmm. No, it's a great time. <laughs> okay. Good, good, good. So, uh, yeah, you know, I, I'm the host of a very popular talk show host, uh, talk show now, and uh, it's live. Mm -hmm. So, you know, yeah. when I do verbal flubs like that, it just kind of, you just have to go with the flow here. So, um, Katie, you popped in, you were nice enough on the show where anything can happen to stop and say hi. I got to ask you some questions. I just mm -hmm. have to. So, uh, I guess my first question is, uh, we shot the movie, An Intervention. Mm -hmm. uh, back in 2013, and this is what I've been asking everybody is, uh, do you remember shooting the movie? <laughs> uh, yeah, I kind of do, actually. Um, it was two days of shooting. Mm -hmm. uh, I remember after the first day wrapped, we kind of all arrived at our certain times. And then after that day wrapped, we went back to the hotel. Mm -hmm. We kind of had a party night <laughs> with uh, the cast. Mm -hmm. And then uh, we started the next day pretty early. Uh, I walked back from the hotel to the location. It wasn't very far away. And then we just kind of hang out on the lawn for a while, like waiting for our queue times. Mm -hmm. So it was pretty nice, uh, sunny day and nice and uh, warm out. And it was, uh, yeah, a great time. You... Uh... They, they, a lot of people talk about how you have to wait around on set when it comes to making movies. I try not to do that for my actors. But I think that's inevitable, you know? Like, you've worked on enough movies, right? Mm -hmm. In my defense, mm -hmm. <laughs> to be fair. Um, but that's great. Um, yeah, I do remember you sitting on the lawn. You had a big hat. A big oh, red, yeah, that big sun hat. <laughs> to go with your dress. Uh, that's right. Which is a lovely dress in the movie. Do you oh, remember yeah. that? Do you still have that dress? I do. I don't know if it fits after uh, quarantine, <laughs> but I still have it. Well, you know, Katie, yeah, you know, I love talking to you, and I love the chemistry we have. I mean, people don't a lot of people don't know this, but you and I were were dating, and we lived together. So okay. here, let me just set this down here. Ready, go. All right, <laughs> let's continue this uh, interview here. Okay. All right, so. Hi. My next question is, um, mm -hmm. are you nervous when it comes to improv? Um, I was, yeah, actually. Yeah. I'd never done a lot of improv before. I'd done a few um, shows with you guys, and uh, but that wasn't improv. It was uh, we had a script with lines that we had to memorize and stuff like that. How did we meet? We met uh, probably doing the uh, the Bill Pullman show. Uh, yeah, you were the uh, stage manager. Yeah, I was the stage manager backstage. and uh... Well, tell them what that is, because some oh. people, they're, what the fuck is the Bill Pullman <laughs> show? So, uh, how long ago was that? Like 2012. Yeah, I did a show, Bill Pullman show, that was a, a comedy about Bill Pullman, and it it's was a weird play. like a love story. He's trying to find his love, and I think uh, the character of... Yeah, Jeff Goldblum is his like fairy god father. Father, yeah. <laughs> yeah. So, but yeah, it's basically it's it's called Once Upon a Rom Com. It was, it was the great. Bill Pullman story. Basically, the main character was Bill Pullman, uh, who was played by Phil Platakis, that's right. who plays Henry, Henry in the movie. That's how I uh, also, I believe, that's how I met him as well. I met you. I met Brian Schmitterer through mm -hmm. there, mm -hmm. and uh, we got to talking. And around that time, I decided uh, I was going to make another movie in addition to the one that we were currently shooting. I hate theater. 
with Brian in it. And uh, I needed a candy mogul and yeah. his wife. <laughs> and uh, I needed people with chemistry. Mm -hmm. I needed people with chemistry, like kind of like, kind of like us. Mm -hmm. Hi, thank you. Thank you, Ritiz. <laughs> Ritiz 14, thank you. Um, yeah, I needed people with good chemistry. And I knew that you and Brian had a history together. Mm -hmm. And uh, so I thought it'd be uh, I thought it would work out really well, you yeah. guys working off of each other. Me and Brian were roommates at the time, so uh, yeah, we got yeah. along very well. And then uh, you you actually gave us a ride back to the city after that second day of shooting. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And I was trying to get up courage to talk to you. Oh. <laughs> well, um, I couldn't make it to the party mm -hmm. after we wrapped because I had to return the gear. I rented some lenses and uh, some other stuff, some lobs as well. And I had to get that back that night. So I missed my own rap party. Yeah. Uh, it's a, a chance to hang out with you earlier. Uh, so we didn't get together until about 2015. Mm -hmm. Yeah. A couple, uh, a year and a half or so later after we shot the movie. Mm -hmm. So that's interesting. We, we started as coworkers and then we uh, it developed right. into that. So um, what else? Uh, who is your favorite character in the movie? Uh, your own, or is it somebody else <laughs> in the movie? Um, I think my favorite is probably. Um, it's a toss-up between Liam and Frank. Oh really? Yeah, because uh, <laughs> Liam's so funny with the hot takes that he has, and like he's on the phone, and you you know you're supposed to run an intervention, dude. Um, be present. <laughs> Maybe. That's a good idea. And then uh, Fire Tank Frank, you know, just he has the Fire Tank Frank, but also the little dance. And You like that? I like it. The chauvinistic types. Is that, would you want to play that? Because you're, you're kind of a, you're yeah. kind of a shy person, yeah. I'd say in general. But those characters are the funnest to play, I think. Yep, Bad you... characters and like a sh kind of shitty characters. <laughs> you like fun. playing shitty people? They're fun, yeah. yeah. I think it is fun. I love a good villain in a movie, like a good oh, asshole. Yeah. Yes. And uh, yeah, they're fun to play. And I, they're fun to direct too, I'd say. Uh, we shot it at my aunt's place, Bolingbrook, 2013. Cat Peddington, all improvised. You uh, designed, let's talk about the designs, sure, yeah. some of the designs of the movie. She, Katie here, designed uh, the candy bar logo mm -hmm. for Pennington. Pennington candy bar logo. You also parodied the, uh, I guess, the Trump uh, propaganda. Yeah, with the, for, for the hope. hope. Yeah. yeah, for her little slogan. That is a parody off of Trump's uh, sign. Yeah, mm -hmm. the blue and the white. Mm -hmm. And then... Um, also, have your wake and eat it too. Yep, I designed that as well. That's Greg's uh, baking company. Yeah, and uh, I, I love it. It's like you, what people don't realize is that uh, the level of graphic design work that you bring to to these projects it uh, was intense. <laughs> yeah, and uh, some Photoshop work as well. A little bit, little yeah. Collaboration. I worked with you on on Photoshop, like doctoring some of the the kid photos of henry and marcia mm -hmm. and stuff like that mm -hmm. making them look a little more passable i guess mm -hmm. uh so what what are you what have you been up to what have you been doing with your life in the <laughs> quarantine and everything i know i know but mm -hmm. can you tell the audience what's new well um talk hindi <laughs> <laughs> i can't i'm sorry I, yeah. I don't speak hindi i'm sorry um so what have you been up to well quarantine happened um i lost a job i got a new job and uh yeah we're moving soon so we've just been doing that it's true working and and moving stuff and we're uh you're in the next movie oh, as yeah. well working on a new movie helping him been so busy we forget about the movies <laughs> we're making so here busy. but uh i've been making some uh costumes this time for the next one yes uh it's got to do with cooking so some aprons mm -hmm. and some yeah other costume details it's it's exciting to see. I love seeing your work develop and evolve over the years. Mm -hmm. Your graphic design work, your costume yeah. work. Uh, you got to follow her on Instagram. It's at the, that KTB co uh, cosplay girl. Yeah, that KTB cosplay girl. G U R L. G I R. -L. Oh, is it? It's G U R L on Twitter. Oh, okay. Only on Twitter. Got it. Okay. Sorry, I don't mean to confuse. She does great work here. Um, a lot of like a lot of tributes to. Not like kind of your fringe nerdy stuff, yeah. right? What are you most proud of uh, for costumes? 
Um, well, I'm pretty proud of the Back to the Future one that we did together last. No, that was 2020, early 2020. Mm-hmm. Uh, we did Marty McFly and then Jennifer, his girlfriend. Oh, jeez, Doc. <laughs> That was great. Um, uh, I think your jacket turned out really well. It is, it's, we got to share a picture up on the uh, the Instagram because it did turn out really well. But, yeah. I mean, my favorite's probably Lilu from Fifth Element. That's probably my favorite one. It's a fan favorite, yeah. too. Yeah. Every time you walk by at the Comic-Cons, which we're always at, you know, we shot a film yeah. at, at the Chicago Comic-Con C2E2 called Villain. Uh, mm-hmm. That came out on Valentine's Day uh, 2018. We're, so we're about to celebrate the two-year anniversary of the release of Villain, actually. That's right. You can watch that uh, in its entirety on YouTube because uh, mm-hmm. there's so many copyright infringements. Mm-hmm. We, we really had no choice but to release it for free. Yeah. But there, there, it's, it's a really cool horror movie, found footage, uh, Comic-Con. Imagine Michael Myers if he had a camera in Haddonfield and, and Haddonfield was a comic convention. That's kind mm-hmm. of the, that's, that was my little elevator pitch when we were doing it. Yeah. But you did a great job. We did like a Star Trek thing in that. Mm -hmm. So she's always doing costumes and uh, always evolving with the costumes as well. I try. (laughs) I try to grow my my craft. What? uh, So we were talking about. We already covered what kind of roles you like to play, Mm -hmm. which is kind of more antagonistic. I think so. Yeah. So do you want to act more? Do you want to do more cosplay? Mm -hmm. What? uh, Just kind of all over. Oh, uh, yeah, it's still all over. I would say anything that really just speaks to me, I want to do. Mostly my art has been more cosplay-based. Um, I'm not against acting more, but I I don't know if that's quite my forte. <laughs> well, I think you do a great job. Thanks. And I think she does a great job in the movie. Uh, and I hope you guys agree. If you watch it on Amazon Prime, you can let us know. Write a review. That helps right. us out. Even if you don't like the movie, I think you will, though. Most mm-hmm. people... Seem to like it. Mm-hmm. Uh, you can write a review, and we are having a, a raffle. Uh, unfortunately, That's the right. deadline for that was uh, yesterday, so we're just announcing the winners. We got the Red Bubble Story uh, store open now mm-hmm. with your designs, That's right. your Hope Twenty Twenty Eight, the Have Your Wake and Eat It Two, mm-hmm. and the Pennington. And there's going to be some more designs there you as well. You can get shirts, you can get pillows, uh, water bottles. Mm-hmm. Uh, whole bunch of different stuff Uh, a skirt with the pennington logo on it (laughs) masks it's very cool i love seeing like the models with the they have the template models with you could just put anything on their shirts Mm -hmm. and it looks uh real so you get a good idea of what they look like that's very cool um do you have any questions for me katie the director (laughs) of 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 it's okay if you don't don't. (laughs) i'm putting you on the spot here yeah a little bit okay that's fair. I didn't have any questions prepared. That's okay. <laughs> um, so I uh, I think we're good here. I think I'll let you go. I think I'll get back to my, <laughs> my other end miles and miles away. But I want to thank you all for watching. Thank you very much. Appreciate it. Katie, thank you for just dropping by on the Thanks. show where anything can happen. <laughs> Intervention Live. And uh, I'll let you get back to uh, what you were doing. I'll, okay. I'll see you. Bye. <laughs> Bye. So, uh, oh, there you have it. That is uh, another episode of Intervention Live. Uh, I believe that was our fifth episode. We are, we're moving along with all the cast, the crew. We're trying to get everybody. Uh, we're going to have a con- conversation soon on Zoom between all of us. I think that would be nice. But, Katie, thank you so much. Thank you again. Uh, thank you. You're great. You're lovely. Uh, you're great in the movie. I think you all should watch her in it. And uh, thank you. All right. Bye, guys. Thank you for watching.